Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS. My goal is to assist you to become more of a financial blessing and emotional blessing to yourself and those you love. If you're new, a very warm welcome and welcome back KS family. Let's run the numbers. We saw in the past couple of trading sessions that yields have been going up. This is placing positive pressure and momentum on the DXY and harming gold's ascent. Even though the VIX is falling to historical lows, we're not seeing the same kind of follow through in the main markets as we would expect. What we're also seeing, the CTKS risk indicator is indicating that risk is coming out of the market and negative price momentum could be coming in. It's early days yet. We've seen this in the past where the markets kept on going up. This white line is the S&P 500. This purple line is the CTKS risk indicator. What we're actually looking for is the markets to go up and diverge from the risk indicator. This is a forward indicator as you can see back here. The S&P 500 kept going as the risk indicator actually came down. Just keep your eye on this. I'll be looking at it each and every day. In a little over two weeks, the next FOMC meeting has an 86.6% probability of a 25 basis point increase. This is the reason why yields are going up and the DXY is going up also. Bitcoin is a powerful way of indicating risk on and risk off sentiment inside the main markets. And what did we see comparing Bitcoin to the S&P 500? Recently, a lot of risk on behavior came out of the market, even though the S&P 500 grinded higher. It's coming up to a smart money sell level. And how do we know that? We apply the CTKS method. The S&P 500 closed at 41.51 and it has a smart money sell level from 41.57 to 41.66. We always do three-dimensional thinking. By applying our daily three-dimensional risk management, we assess what would happen if the market went down, neutral or up. And we hold on to these three different probabilities each and every day. In life, you struggle for certainty. Inside financial markets, we stack probabilities. Remember, you control the trade or investment, but it's the market that controls the return. And that return is based on your active learning, your knowledge and your courage. With increasing yields, gold is under pressure. Gold is currently 1994. The CTKS method looks at objective dynamic market structure and market structure is so important for you to understand. There's a smart money sell level from 2014 to 2025. We can see ever since gold passed through this very, very strong level of once support, it's turned to a very strong level of now resistance. For gold traders, the next level of smart money buy Support is between 1978 and 1981. Remember, when you get a cut through like this of a very strong and powerful level of one support, it typically comes back and retests. This is something that confuses a lot of people inside the markets. Literally, price is ping-ponging between different levels. You want to know what these levels are. It's important to understand how different things intercorrelate together. And when we look at Bitcoin, which is the bar chart, and then we look at the S&P 500 futures, this white line, there's an undeniable correlation between the two. It's called a directional correlation. You might notice long gaps in the S&P 500 futures. This is because Bitcoin trades 24 hours a day, but the S&P 500s don't. We look at the stock markets and we look at the S&P 500 because of rule 225. Bitcoin cannot escape the stock market's gravity. How do we stack probabilities? We can stack the probability that the S&P 500 is coming up to a smart money sell level, that yields are increasing, that the DXY is in also increasing, gold is decreasing, and the risk on indicator looks like it's about to turn over. This is stacking negative potential inside the markets. Could that play out in the next three minutes? 
potentially yes, but it could take longer. So just be aware that when you stack probabilities, it means that it doesn't necessarily happen in the next second, but it's waiting towards a specific outcome. Zooming in to Bitcoin's price action, it's currently $29,521 and it's just below a smart money was support level now turned to a sell level at 29,957 to 30,166. We may possibly get a retest, even a breakthrough of this resistance level. So keep that on the cards. Masterclass students, you're looking specifically for cut unders and cut overs. We've currently had so many cut unders in Bitcoin's price action that the potential is, the stacking of probabilities is, that will come down and at least touch the 27,843 to the 28,038 level. But if we get a cross over in Bitcoin's price, retesting this 30,000 to 30,200 level would be on the cards. What you've got to do in order to understand how to stack probabilities, you have to look far and wide. It's absolutely critical to understand the market structure of what you trade or invest in. We can see recently Bitcoin didn't manage to hold on to this smart money once buy, now sell. It's done across under. The next level of support is around the 27,970 mark. There's much, much more support. And this is structural support, not recent indicative price support, but actual market structure support. Those two are miles apart. As an investor or a trader, you must have a structure by which you look at the markets and you must have the knowledge or the markets will penalize you. If you would like to learn the CTKS method, it's available at ctksmethod.org and also inside the masterclass. The links are in the description of this video. Another way to stack probabilities is to understand what the shorts and the longs are doing. We recently saw the shorts pile into the crypto market. That dragged Bitcoin's price lower as they liquidated the longs. We've seen a slight uptick in the liquidations of shorts, but this is not by any stretch of the imagination a trend change at the present time. The signals that are currently being sent with the increase in yields, the very large percentage probability of a rate hike in under, well, a little bit over two weeks. The shorts are starting to come back into the market. The DXY is starting to go up and Bitcoin is measured in dollars. Gold is measured in dollars and your stocks are measured in dollars. We can see that when we look at the DXY, it has been reversing. It's done a cut over. It's being supported, but we need to look at market structure. The DXY is currently 102095, and the key level of market structure was between 101713 and 101800, and we've bypassed this level. This is actually pointing towards the concept that as yields come up, the DXY is coming up as well, and it's putting pressure on the equities market and also risk on activity as measured through Bitcoin. We can see the risk off behavior entering the crypto market, but there are always opportunities and we have an opportunity mindset. The greatest gainers, top 100, Render, Mana, Loopring, DYDX, Trust Wallet, ICP and AVAX. The greatest losers, top 100, past 24 hours, Rocket Pool, Immutable X, Algo, Conflux, Clayton, Injective, and CRV. Bitcoin has been leading the recent rally, and you can see that most of the majority of the alts have caught up, except a couple. BNB has still about a 21% gap in between Bitcoin's gravity and its gravity. And when we look at ADA, and XRP, Ethereum, Doge, they've all pretty much closed their gaps, but Matic remains a very, very open wide gap at the current time. We would expect this to be closed because we know the strong become weak, but the weak become strong. And we saw that recently with XRP and ADA that did so incredibly well. Looking towards the next eight cryptos, we see that this gap to fill on DOT 
Litecoin has closed it. Ship still has one. AVAX has closed it. Tron is under pressure. But this, like BNB, is the centralized exchanges being attacked by the SEC. Link has just about closed its gap. Uni has a pretty much wide open gap, just like Matic. It can take time for these gaps to close, but you should be aware of them. Adam also has a gap. One thing to remember, there is always an opportunity inside every market. You just have to find it. Keep that positive, optimistic, opportunity-minded mindset because you need it. This is just a quick video today, so have a great day or night ahead my friends, and Kate and I look forward to catching up with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.